Okay, this lesson is about finding the equation by using an input-output table. Okay, so uh, we've done this before, but just in case you still need you know, a little revision in your own time, you can watch this as much as you want. Okay, so here it is. So math, you need to follow certain steps. Okay, so for this one, you need to remember, first of all, that the linear equation format would be y is equal to mx plus c, okay? So m, in this case, since we're using the input-output table, would be the pattern of the y values, okay? And the C would be the adjustment. Okay? So, let's do step one. Let's look for the pattern of the Y values. Okay, now look. How did 6 become 9? You added 3. How did 9 become 12? You added 3. Okay? So, this pattern... What is the pattern of the y values? It increases by 3, and that becomes your coefficient of x, which is the slope, as you know, you'll find out later on. Okay, so let's start constructing our equation. So y is equal to 3x. Okay, now... How do we look for the adjustment? You need to solve, okay? You need to substitute an x value here and then compare the answer. If the answer is not the same, then you need to adjust the answer, okay? So let's start by substituting. y is equal to 3 and let's substitute 2, okay? So, y is equal to 3 times 2, which is 6. And as you can see, the y value is the same as our value here. So, that means no need for an adjustment. Okay, so our equation is y equals 3x. So let's try. You need to always check your answer. That's the beauty of algebra. Let's try substituting 3. Okay. So y equals 3 times 3. Therefore, y is equal to 9. Okay. Then how do we look for 50? No problem. Substitute it again. Start from the basic equation. y is equal to 3x. What is what what are we looking for? We are substituting x. We want to look for the value of y if x is 50. So just substitute 50. And what's the answer? 150. Okay? So that one's quite easy because no need for adjustment. Now, what if we need an adjustment? So let's try another set of values. So we have x and y. Okay, let's go 1, 2, 3. Let's go 7, 10, 13. Okay, and let's look for the 50th value. Okay, again, step 1. Look for the pattern of the y values. Now, if we look here, what is the pattern? Increase by 3 increase by 3 okay so remember okay remember here our linear equation is y equals mx plus c where m is the slope but how do we get the slope from the input output table it is the pattern okay how the y values change okay so since it's plus 3, that's your pattern. 
let's put it in our equation, y is equal to 3x, okay? Now, how do we look for the constant, which is the adjustment, okay? We need to substitute, so let's try to substitute the first x value, 3 times 1, okay, equals 3. Now, if you look at this, this value for y that we got by substituting 1 is not the same as the y value in the input-output table. Okay? No problem. What do we do to 3 so that it will become 7? Very good. We need to add 4. So now, it's equal to 7. It's the same. Okay? So that is our adjustment. Okay? So our equation now is y equals 3x plus 4. Again, don't leave it like that. You always need to check your answer by substituting the other values of x. So let's do x is 2, okay? Always start with your basic equation. 3 and what is x? 2 plus 4 equals 3 times 2 is 6 plus 4 equals 10. Okay? So they are the same. Let's do one more. Let's do it with 3. Start again with your basic equation. y is equal to 3x plus 4 is equal to 3 times 3 plus 4 is equal to 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. The same. Okay? So now that you know that your equation is correct, you can substitute 50. Again, start with the basic equation, plus 4, 3 times 50 plus 4 is equal to 150 plus 4 equals 154. So, if x is 50, y would be 154. Okay? So, it just takes practice. If you follow the steps, then you will be more accurate. Okay, that's all for now. Goodbye.